Troy Isley. He was relaxed. He was very responsive. He asked the questions. He was happy. He was content with the amount of work that he did. Nice body shot there. Isley doing well to slow down Hernandez with those shots to the solar plexus. He wants to slow him down. He wants to keep him in front of him. He wants Isley to do exactly what he's doing right now, and that's fighting the inside because that's where he's going to have success. Even though Isley had that right hand pin, yes, that left hand of Hernandez was doing damage, and Isley was doing some stuff with his right hand as well. So Isley fighting, and that's exactly what Hernandez would like. A fight, not a boxing match. Nice right by Troy Isley as then he digs to the body. Jared Anderson asked Duke Reagan what Kay did for him when his dad passed. Stop. God forbid I had a kid who wanted to be a fighter, I'd send him to Kay because I know it wouldn't. A lot of these guys came up through from the Kay Karoma school, and, and you are correct, out in Virginia. He commits to him 100%. I like what I'm seeing right now from, from actually both fighters. Troy's gonna have to match his tempo all night long. Nice but right. I love the angles. I love the create creativity with his punches. Inside that ring. Again, that's the versatility. Troy can box off his back foot. He also can fight inside the pocket as well and fight at mid-range. Right nice now. short right hand from Troy Isley off the ropes and the right to the body. There's a little bit of leverage as well to get back from punches and also to bounce off, of, off, off the ropes from punches as well. I love the, the physical controls Troy is using right here. Nice body work from Troy Isley here as we're closing out the second round. He's not moving a whole hell of a lot. He's not moving no, no, Troy, a whole no, no. lot. But look, look at the short uppercut in the inside right there. He's holding the, the lead hand of Fernandez and a short uppercut in between. Shows you he's comfortable here in this position. But again, Hernandez is the type of fighter, he gets you to fight his fight. Troy has to stay disciplined and fight his game plan, which is, I'm sure, to box. Do There's gonna be times for Troy to have to sit there and trade, Ooh. but it should be more times for Troy to actually Pick box. Him up, Pick him up. Troy, this is South Ooh. Ball versus, oh, nice shot nice right there. Nice shots with the right hand. He does the Canelo feint, throwing the left up in the air, and then comes with a straight right. You know, Vladimir Hernandez is tough because he only became a full-time boxer one year ago. Before that, he was working as a roofer, so you know he's got that man muscles, that man strength. But he wants to get you in that T position. Yep. The T position to where he can land both hands, and that's right in the center of the chest of the punches being landed and thrown. Good comeback right there from Isley. Isley's doing a good job in, in managing his attacks and his energy. Nice, nice right, right hand. hand. Welcomes Hernandez to the short range. He's not moving to the left. He's right. actually moving to the right, and he's landing that right hand. That's called splitting the fighter in half and battling nice. that one in. Oh, he buzzed him right there. That was that a shot. nice right uppercut. Ooh, nice shot Isley. from Hernandez. Isley looks comfortable right there inside the pocket, but the thing is is that he can step in and he can smother and tie up Ooh. Hernandez. Nice body work from Troy Isley. And Shakur Stevenson, our main event fighter, has been lucky to have some incredible mentors. Andre Ward, Bud Crawford. Now he feels a sense of responsibility to the next generation. Hernandez keeps coming with the short right hands. You see the blood coming out of the right eyelid of one Vladimir 24 Karen Hernandez. And he's continuing yep. to try to break down Troy Isley, who digs to the body with that vicious left hook and the right uppercut. Short, crisp shots from Troy Isley against the power of Hernandez. There she a nice left hook there from Hernandez as Isley will have to pay the price for every mistake he makes in there. But right now, Isley's winning the position of bat battle right now on the inside. You know, and he's doing well in deflecting a lot of these punches and blocking a lot of these shots. And he's slipping and rolling, he's countering in between the punches. But again, you know, I'm, I'm starting to see him. <laughs> he's starting to get a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued, I'm sure, from throwing all these punches. He's slowly breaking down Hernandez. Little by little, Hernandez is coming on in spots. Yes, he is, but he's slowly breaking him down. 
you know, and they were like, well, we'll, we'll try to calm him down and, you know, tell him to, you know, keep doing what he's doing, keep boxing, make it easy for yourself. Ninth fights is participating in the Tokyo Olympics for Troy, who takes a nice one-two combination followed by a left hand. Oh, nicely. And Tim, when we go back to that cut, you see how the cut is bleeding towards the outside of the ear? Had he not sti had Stitch Stop. Duran in there, it'd be bleeding in his eye. For the next six minutes of this fight, scheduled for eight rounds, Bernardo Suna alongside the Hall of Famer. See, Isley is moving. He's moving right, but he's, when he throws his right hand, he's getting his foot on the outside. See? Mm. Good defense from Isley. Steps back, makes Hernandez mix, and then he makes him pay. But then Hernandez says, hey, that's one sequence. Yes. How about this one? Exactly. He can feel Isley slowly weakening because, again, the offense is slowed down from Isley. But those are well-placed body shots right there from Isley. You see which direction that Hernandez is moving now from those body shots. Nice combination. Nice I mean, these guys are just going toe-to-toe -to -toe at this point here in round number seven. Fatigue starting to set in, and they're asking questions of one another. Low blow there from Troy. Hernandez right there, nice little right hook, just following, following the movement of Isley. And caught him with that nice left hook, excuse me. Nice counter. Punishing left hook from Vladimir Hernandez. What's the answer that Isley has here in the seventh round as Hernandez decides to go to the body? Nice right hand there from Troy Isley. As you know that Hernandez is going to take risk here, Tim. He is going to take risks. Isley, it's Isley's job to not to take it away from him. But see, the thing is, is that Isley's gotten used to moving to his right. And what he needs to do is, again, move to the weak side. And defensively responsible, Troy Isley, who has had the offense, Tim, to back it up. Offense, 